everyone and welcome to Augie March, King of Doodles. Today we have a special with Freddy. Freddy Goose. A lot of people have been asking about him, how he's doing. Um, they have really missed seeing him because there's been more duck videos lately. Now a couple of subscribers, a couple of Freddy's friends that I want to mention are Living the Dream and Swan Unicorn. And these two have been really faithful friends to Freddy and have been asking how he's doing and when he's going to be in a video. So this video is for them. When I do make the videos with tomatoes, um, Freddy doesn't eat tomatoes so it might look like he's not getting attention. But the fact is he just doesn't eat uh, tomatoes. But he does get a lot of attention um, at other times. And that's when I'm not filming or you'd be seeing it. So I just needed to get my camera out and make a video for you. Also, um, in this video, I'm going to include a link and some, some footage of what other channel I have on YouTube, which is called Tarantulas with Shanti. And you guessed it, it is a channel dedicated to my tarantulas. So I'm not just a duck person, I'm also a tarantula person. Stay tuned at the end of this video for some clips and a link to that channel. How are you doing, Fred? Huh? Today's grass day. We've let the grass repair so that uh, he could eat more. He spent a lot of time out here a couple weeks ago and we needed to let the grass grow back. <laughs> Say hi to living the dream, Fred. Yeah, he's a good boy. Can you say hi to Swan Unicorn? Where are you going? Where are you going, Fred? Yeah? We had a big uh, funnel web weaver type of spider living in this bucket over here. And I just decided to leave it there till the end of the season. Well, maybe Freddie wants to spend time digging and, and putting mud in the pool. As you can see, that's already been what's been going on. This is just a cute thing that Freddie does. I'm not 100% sure what it means, but he seems to do this when he's happy. I've seen um, videos online of swans uh, doing this and moving uh, bits of trash, and they said that the swan was picking up trash, but I think that actually it's, it's, it's something moving things around. Sometimes they look like they're feeding fish but they're actually getting their food wet. Freddy likes to collect rocks and put them in the pool and polish them. He's got his little son, Halo. He's such a gorgeous boy. It's almost fall here. It's getting toward the end of September. We have some pretty cool nights. Today was a really nice day. He's happy. You happy, Fred? You're a happy boy. Sometimes in the winter time, the, the grass is still green throughout winter and I can dig back some of the snow and Freddie gets so excited. During winter, he enjoys some organic orchard grass. It comes in a compact bale that's actually pretty heavy. And he eats that throughout the winter, but it's not as good as the real thing. You can hear him just quietly 
talking to himself in a very sweet voice. It's what he does when he's enjoying his grass. Look at his big feet. He's such a beautiful boy. Look at his sunflower. That's Freddy's sunflower back there. It planted itself and grew in his garden. He always has something new coming up. Don't you, Fred? In the background, you can hear sometimes dogs barking. You can hear the sounds of traffic. That includes people honking their horns, revving engines, and just cars passing by on the busy street one block over. But here we have this backyard sanctuary. It's home to several rescue ducks who would no doubt not be alive at this time if they hadn't been taken in or we hadn't rescued them. And sometimes we get dragonflies, lots of different types of spiders. Once in a while we'll get some songbirds, but I think these house sparrows keep the songbirds away. And lots of bees, different types of bees. We have yellow jackets and hornets bumblebees, mock bees, honeybees. They all live here harmoniously, even the yellow jackets. Fred, come here, Freddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Say hi. Say hi to everyone. Yes, he's a good goose. Good Fred. All right, well, that's all for today. I hope that uh, you've enjoyed this sneak peek at Freddy's life. Please leave your comments below, and I hope to see you soon. Say goodbye, Fred. Say goodbye. He's, he's too busy for us. This is Fiza. She is a five-year-old Brachypelma hamori, and she has no fangs. So what do you do with a tarantula that has no fangs? Well, you have to pick them up and feed them until they can go through another molt, and during the next molt, they will regenerate their fangs. Pretty fascinating, isn't it? She's very sweet. This is l'elephant, a Brachypelma albopilosum, or the Honduran curly hair. As you can see, this one has a nice black undercoat, and that's because this is a suspect male. He's not kicking hairs off of his abdomen, which means he's happy. Do you know that some tarantulas have horns? That's right. This one is called a rear horned baboon species and it is from Africa. This is the Ceratogyrus darlingi. And this one is a fossorial, meaning that it lives underground. So this is the burrow. And down inside the burrow somewhere is an old molt that I haven't been able to get out. This tarantula has more toxic venom than tarantulas that are from the Americas. Tarantulas from the Americas are called 
New World tarantulas and tarantulas from Africa and Asia and Australia and the Middle East are called Old World tarantulas. And they lack the urticating hairs that they flick from their abdomens, but they do have more toxic venom. So they're recommended for people who know how to handle them. This is my tarantula family. They are featured in my other YouTube channel, Tarantulas with Shanti. So if you would like to learn about tarantulas, then go ahead and subscribe and I will see you there.